There we go. There we go. Popping frog with a trailing dropper line. Yep. Yep, there we go. That's a nice one. Ooh, got the popper even. 7 a.m., 60 degrees. Chilly. Wet. Hopefully bassy. But we're going about four miles against the current here. So we need to get paddling. The water's still really cloudy. And it's overcast, so hopefully it doesn't open up on us this morning. We're gonna trust the forecast and we are going way up the creek. When we get to the first spot, I'll show you the F4 rig that we're gonna be using. This is power bait smelt. It's like a little tiny fluke, three inches. Now the rig, this is an F4, two bobber stops and a little a bullet weight, 16th ounce and a bead. And when you snap this back and forth, you can make a little noise and you can adjust how far that bead moves. By moving your bobber stops, you can move it up and down the line. And then for our hook, we're just doing a super light wacky here. And we're just gonna go up through the bottom of the bait, right out the center, just like that. Okay, we're gonna change up our presentation here. Well, at this point, we've been hiking and moving and paddling for about an hour and a half. Nothing going on yet, so we're gonna switch to a popper, popping frog, with a trailing dropper line, to a three inch dinger with a chartreuse tail. Might be the way to go. There we got one. Ooh. Got himself a little twisted. Got him right in the corner of the mouth though. You are my first fish on a tough day, partner. Tough day. Well, on the bright side, it's gorgeous. Got my butt kicked today. There we go. There we go. He was in that little eddy right there. That's a decent one. Got him on that back bait. Come here, partner. Come here. Good smallie. Good smallie. Strong fish, too. Just that little, little mosquito hook. Little plastic. Good partner. Be good. Okay, that tells us something. Just looking for some of them that are trying to get out of the current. There we go. There's ooh. There we go. Nice one. Almost looks like a largey. Oh, that's a good smallie. Ow. And that's just what we gotta do to find them today. Well, not a jumbo, but a nice bass. Nice bass. We'll take it today. Put them back in this murky water here. Away he goes. Let's see if we can replicate that. It's very easy to get frustrated, but sometimes you just gotta keep searching. I think we just had a topwater 
strike and a miss. Yep. Oh, they're hitting that popper. That's two. Right about. I'm way past them now, but we'll come through there. Got him. On the back bait. Finally getting into some. Another decent one. Nice little creek smallie. Okay, now we're now we're getting somewhere. Hit the popper twice and missed it. And he got that back that back hook. There's gotta be another one. Yep. Yep, there we go. That's the fish we've been searching for all morning. That's a nice one. Ooh, got the popper even. Got the popper. Look at that. Went for the bigger bait. That's a beauty smallie. That's a beautiful, beautiful smallie. Got a little bit of blood, but she'll be okay. Okay, it took all morning, but we finally started to get into some fish. That one hit the popper coming over. That was cool. She was bleeding a little bit, but she took off hard. She'll be okay. She'll be okay. Let's do that again. This area is wide. If we come in here when the water's normal and clear, I guarantee, look at this big stretch. I guarantee we could stack them up in here. Especially if there's a deep cut on the outside here. I bet this gets loaded. Today though, just trying to make contact with a couple more during a tough bite. See this water is coming down and whipping around on the outside or towards the center here. So this right here is slack, even though it's real, real close to me and on my shore. We got a something on there. He's kicking hard now that he's close. <laughs> he was coming with me for a second. You know, here's the thing. If we're getting fishing here on a day like today when it's tough, we're coming back. Decent smallie. Real pretty. Did you hit top water too? I wonder if that was you or somebody else. Let's find out. It's always a good day when you get out in it. All right, let's head back towards our yak. See, right here we got a little swirl. We'll toss over into that. Right next to shore, I mean, they can be tight to cover. When the water gets like this. Put some weight on there. Yep. Don't know what we got though. He was kind of swimming with me. Not a bad fish. Right up on that cover though, like I said. They get right up in that. It's a chunky one. You're chunky, partner. Not real aggressive strike either. Just kind of felt a little weight. Okay. It's working. I oh, got another pool up here. Probably, probably do her. Something is definitely wrong with my reel. It's gunked up with something. The bale's not spinning freely. 
something wrong. It's making it very difficult to use. There's minnows kicking over here, right up next to shore. That was the slowest strike. He just realized he's hooked. <laughs> Not a bad one either. Not a bad one. Not a bad one. Hold still, hold still, hold still. I'll get you back. Nice smallie. Real shallow, sitting right up next to shore. This was just drifting by and I was doing something. I don't even know what I was doing. Playing with my reel or something. Cast a couple more times where we saw those little minnows jumping and then we'll move up. Keep trying to use this as best as we can. Yep, there's a little pot of them right here. When this floats up, that's a rock bass. Look at that chunker. Man, fat little meatball. Later meats. Oh, somebody big just swiped at it. There is a big one over here. Might have got him. Might have got him. It's a good one. Chunkier one. Longer fish. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. That's gorgeous. Right as it was leaving his area. Come here, buddy. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, I lost my yum dinger. So that's gonna do it for the day right there. What a beaut. What a beaut. See you, partner. Well, my friends, that's gonna do it for today. Remember, now, if you guys are fishing muddy water, if you're fishing when the creek is high, Try a little bit brighter colors. Try something that's gonna make a little bit of commotion. And make sure you look right up next to the bank and right up next to any cover that you see. They're gonna get close to cover when the water is dirty. They're not cruising around today like they were the last time we came down here. Get out there and work for some fish. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you in the next one. Later. No. Bad. That was almost real bad. Ooh. That came flying and hit me right in the back. Ow! I'm gonna have a welt, holy cow.